The Empire was expanding with each passing minute. Now Palpatine had his sights on the planet Mon Cala, and he sent Vader to deal with not only King Lee Char, but his secret Jedi advisor. Vader and his Inquisitors made quick work of every single guard and the Mon Cala people that tried to protect King Lee Char. But before he could even arrest the king, up above from the Star Destroyers, Tarkin received a strange signal signal coming from beneath the surface of the planet from the sea as the ninth sister was torturing the king for information right at that time monstrous whales came from down below they were determined to not leave Dak city fall to the empire and so their mission was to destroy everything now they created tidal waves that engulfed the entire city the inquisitors noticed it and warned darth vader who ordered them to form up a shield, a force shield that could hold off the tidal wave, and as much as Darth Vader tried to hold it off with success in the beginning, in the end it was futile. The whales had created such an enormous force that it ate them whole. Everybody was in danger. Even if Tarkin tried to signal or hear anything from Darth Vader, it was with no success, as Darth Vader was slowly drawn drowning on Mon Cala. By the grace of the force, he had somehow survived. He ignited his lightsaber, created a force shield again, but his suit was warning him that things were not looking good. To make matters worse, an octopus-looking creature attacked Vader at that moment. Deep within the ocean, this octopus squid monster wrapped its arms around Vader and started to squeeze the Sith Lord. But Vader had one more trick up his sleeve. He used force mind trick. The animal connection that had served him as a Jedi, now he was manipulating the monster to do his own bidding. The squid picked up Vader's lightsaber and gave it to him with no hesitation. And the Empire was quick to come to the rescue of Darth Vader who worked the giant squid to death. Now a ship approached Vader recovering him from the water. Vader came in unscathed and the ninth sister and the other inquisitors were around Vader and it was this frustrating time that they used to brag to Darth Vader. Thinking that they would score points with Darth Vader at this moment, they were glad to see him survive but Vader had only one question. Was the Jedi dead? The dumbfounded Inquisitors just stood around not knowing how to answer that, realizing the mistake that they had done. They said no not yet, and once Vader realized that they had done nothing to pursue the Jedi, he then asked them, is King Lee Char dead? To which the Ninth Sister responded with, we don't know. The King was swept away with the tidal wave, same as with you, same as with the others. But the Ninth Sister again insisted, it's not all bad, they got King Lee Char to give them the Jedi's location, so they know exactly where to go. Again, trying to be boastful and bragging that they not only say Darth Vader's life at this moment, but they also know where the Jedi is. Furthermore, the Inquisitors barely survived the wave themselves. They lost two other clones. Once they pulled themselves together, they requisitioned the submarine and came looking for Darth Vader. They wanted to save him first. Vader was fuming at this moment. He sarcastically asked them why. The Emperor had assigned them a task. The task was not to come and save Darth Vader, but to search out for the Jedi and eliminate him. The sixth brother responded with the most dumb answer ever at this moment, which Darth Vader did not want to hear again. The excuse that they first wanted to rescue Darth Vader. This was it. Vader had it. He called all of them fools. The mighty Sith Lord that was Darth Vader never needed to be rescued. He started chastising and scolding every Body there. He told them that their mission on Mount Kala is to find and kill this Jedi that is advising King Lee Char, not stand around and brag about saving him. The dumb ninth sister insisted that he is overreacting. They know where the Jedi is and they can go there now. But the ever scheming Darth Vader was again baffled by their foolishness. Once King Lee Char regains consciousness, the first thing he will do to the Jedi is warn him to escape 
the grip of the Empire. They needed to move quickly before King Lee Char warns the Jedi and he told the Inquisitors to pray that King Lee Char is dead for their sakes. The comic goes on to be very spicy after the Quorn ultimately find King Lee Char and revive him. But that's a story for another time. For this video, I wanted to show how dumb at times were the Inquisitors and how they found the worst moments to brag to Darth Vader about how worthy they are. What did you guys think about this semi-confrontation between the Inquisitors and Darth Vader? Talk to me down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.